Hey guys, I'm LB, and let's check out Fizzlegoo with No Space by TassTTT. This is Fizzlegoo made by me. This test chamber is based off Fizzlers. Oh, and a lot of goo. Hmm, but it seems that nobody knows why there is goo. Maybe they replaced the cake in this test chamber with goo? Who knows? Hang on, you were not supposed to know that with the cake. Um, just forget about it. Wheatley has returned. Wheatley has returned? Okay. Difficulty 6 out of 10, multiple ways to solve. What? Uh... Really? I- I mean, uh, okay, multiple things here. Uh, I've played some pretty challenging 6 out of 10 maps before. But, uh, multiple ways to solve, that's generally... very, very hard for a map maker to pull off without having unused elements in some solutions. My personal preference with multiple solutions is that all solutions have to use all elements of the puzzle. If an element of the puzzle doesn't get used in one of the solutions, then you have a broken puzzle, in my opinion. So yeah, we'll- we'll see about that. If there's anything that I don't use when I solve this map, I'm gonna consider the map broken. So, let's begin. Yeah, just, uh, Ooh. getting a, uh, test ready for I almost you. walked Obviously, into the goo. Doing it for. No one. Although, does give me an idea. Okay, why is that so much quieter? We stand here why was the first Wheatley line so loud and now it's so quiet? Strange. Us to a state of absolute relaxation. Might help us think of a way to open the door. Just do the test! Just do the test! And now why is that line so much louder? Weird. Weird, weird, weird. What does this button do? It doesn't have any signage that I can see. Everything needs to have signage. Um... What does this do? Uh, I guess it's just optional. I guess we'll never need to mess with it, ever. What does this do? There's another one here. Huh. Weird. You know what, I wonder... Ah, it temporarily turns off the fizzler in case you get trapped. Okay. You still need to put signage for that. Like, you can put signage manually in Bmod, you know. At least we know what that deal is with that now. Wait, actually, what does... What does this cube... What does this button do in here? Ah, okay. That might... be something we want to do? Can I see... Yes, I can. So if I do this, then respawn the cube, and then take it all the way in here. That allows us access to this area. What's their exit requirement, though? Um... Behind there, okay. That just turns off that fizzler. Okay. Let's, uh, let's get the cube. Could have respawned it, but either way works. I'll put it right here. Oh, and it turns off this fizzler too. Okay, that needs signage. That really needs signage. Like, just manually connect some ant lines or something. You can do it by just, like, putting an AND gate or something next to the fizzler and connecting it to the AND gate. It doesn't even have to have any other connections other than that. Right, so now that's done and dealt with. I'm assuming this button also turns this off. Hmm. I don't know about you, but I feel like this is a bit too straightforward, you know? Cuz aren't I technically done? Yeah, that's it. So what was the funnel for then? Yeah, so that's what I was saying with multiple solutions. You have to use every puzzle element and every alternate solution that there is. If the player can solve the puzzle without using a test element, then that test element should not be part of the map at all. So yeah, that funnel needs to go. Or you need to enforce the solution that requires the player to use the funnel. Really not a fan of doing it the way you've done it. Also, this- this whole thing, I think this just makes it way too easy for the player to do stuff. Wait, that turns off both Fizzlers. Interesting. 
I think this gives the player way too much leeway in terms of what they can do, because I have access to basically everything just by pressing that button. Alright, well... Yeah. Hopefully you'll take my feedback on board. Anyway... As always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!